Throughout the years, Elon Musk has proved himself again and again as he continues to break expectations and build or introduce something the world has never seen before. He has done this again, as he plans to build a new Mechazilla in Florida soon. Amazing, isn't it? Today, we will be talking about Elon Musk's plans on building a new Mechazilla in Florida. You must be wondering, what does Elon Musk plan to do with it and when will it be built? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these mind-boggling questions and more as we delve into the complicated intricacies behind this mega project. Without further ado, let us begin. While the world has been busy with raising the issues related to space travel and the extent of damage caused by SpaceX repeatedly launching rockets several times in a year, the engineers over at the space company, spearheaded by Musk's guidance, have been busy innovating and crafting some of the biggest structures to aid their space program. Let me explain right from the beginning so you have a better idea of what structures I'm talking about. It all started when Musk disclosed earlier this year that SpaceX intended to eventually relocate Starship operations to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. When SpaceX received a $2.89 billion NASA grant in April of 2021 to create a variant of Starship that will be used as the lunar landing craft during the first crewed visit to the moon as part of the Artemis mission. They couldn't miss that opportunity now, could they? The astronauts will be transported to lunar orbit by NASA's Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft where they will board a waiting Starship spacecraft that will take them to the surface. Now, in order to collaborate on such a big project, SpaceX had to be close by. That is why Starship operations were moved to Kennedy Space Center, which has housed NASA's human spaceflight operations since they began. As a result of their involvement in the moonshot, I am sure by now you will understand why SpaceX shifted some of its operations to the Kennedy Space Center. This makes sense, as it not only divides the burden of launches from their usual launch site, Boca Chica, located in Texas, but also takes full advantage of the wide range of facilities available at the Kennedy Space Center. After shifting to the Space Center, however, SpaceX needed a place where they could launch their space rocket. You must be thinking that launch pads are available there. So, what did SpaceX construct? Well, as soon as they got permission to take their operation to NASA, they promptly constructed an orbital launch tower there as part of the design. But, you must be confused. Weren't we about to discuss the Mechazilla? Well, besides the orbital launch tower, there is also a second tower called the Mechazilla. Even though it isn't its original name, it is commonly used nowadays as it was nicknamed by Musk himself. Let us now discuss why the name Mechazilla was used, and what is its process. As you all know, SpaceX was one of the first companies that would land their rockets. But to land effectively, it needed some landing mechanisms so that there would be no damage. Landing can be quite a tedious process, and one mistake can lead to millions of dollars being lost. That's where the Mechazilla comes into the picture. The genius piece of machinery uses two robust robotic arms that are used to touch the enormous boosters as they touch down at the same launch pad. This ensures that the landing is as smooth as it can be, without any damage or mishaps. Now that is amazing, isn't it? The goal is to catch the ship and its super heavy booster as they return to Earth. The technique could be an upgrade over the drone ships currently used for Falcon 9 boosters returning to Earth after missions. That could help SpaceX achieve its most ambitious targets, like launching the same Starship three times per day. That is not all. A construction of a third tower is also underway. While we have captured images of its construction, we cannot say for sure what its purpose is. Many predict it will serve as a test tower for any future launches. This would minimize any chance of mishaps when the main tower is used. As of right now, we can only wait until its construction is complete and we have a better idea of what its purpose is. I'm pretty sure if we fast forward 10 years into the future, we will find a lot of Mechazillas. Landing rockets will become quite common 
and not just SpaceX, but everyone would be practicing them. This speaks volumes about the landing mechanism. Speaking of which, this is just the initial years of the whole process. Who knows in the coming years what we might see a change in and how the whole mechanism works. Let me give you an example. Looking at the Mechazilla, it doesn't have rounded arms, which would make sense as the booster it catches is also rounded. Maybe something is attached to the boosters that enable them to catch it. We can't say for sure. Only Elon Musk and his team will know the answer to that question. Let's just hope he answers it when he watches this video. Hey, Elon, what's up? Thanks for bringing back free speech. Inventions such as the Mechazilla are proof that Elon Musk and his team at SpaceX have what it takes to be one of the biggest space companies out there. The fact that they were formulated some years ago and the rate at which they're progressing is actually insane how fast they've come to the top. The model is based on trial and error, and the more time they will have, the more data they will accumulate and the better they will become. So you can expect exponential growth in the next few years. This growth will also result in exponential discoveries, and slowly, we will widen our understanding of the space surrounding us. The more our understanding develops, the more we have a chance of finding another planet where we can live, or maybe even aliens. Who knows, the chances are limitless. In the end, I would like to just say that all eyes are on Elon Musk as he strives to deliver on his plan to land on Mars. Looking at the conditions of Earth, we desperately need a backup plan, and Musk is on his way to delivering that answer. The invention of the Mechazilla is proof of that. We should support this eccentric yet brilliant billionaire, as it's not just supporting a man in his dream but it's more like supporting the fate of our entire human race. That's it for today. I hope you liked this one. Please let me know by pressing the like button and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself and we'll see you guys in the next one.